Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. We have terrific scenes in front of us at the Estadio do Dragao, one of the biggest venues in Portugal. The lineup we have suggests it's going to be a 4 5 1 formation, Jim. Well, this setup, Peter, can be very defensive if that midfield is in place purely to form a protective layer in front of the back four. But it can also be the launch pad to very quick counter attacks if you can offer pace and accuracy on the front foot. It can have a, a devastating effect, actually, at the offensive end of the pitch, too. the way Mounier desperately wants to get on the end of this Marquinhos hoists it forward has a pop he's missed but not by that far Mbappe did give it a fair old crack and he'll be encouraged to step up again Pierre Gabriel, Fev, and it's Lucas. Berati battles to win it back. Sergio Ramos goes looking, and the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. Fine, Aldum. Good challenge, he just stood firm. He's one on one! He's gone for it! It's off target and by quite a way. Still a cracking effort. Really looked like a man on a mission the way he went through on goal. Marco Verratti, Idrissa Gay, looking to get big chance, Bernat tries to dink it in, Neymar opts to play it back, just brushed off the ball there, Mounier can get it clear, And it's Wijnaldum. Forward tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team really, your striker should be the first line of that defence and, and he's delivering. Marco Verratti. It's Verratti! Goal! Paris Saint-Germain! The keeper deserves some sympathy there. He may not have seen that until too late. So we have our breakthrough. 
and that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Pierre Gabriel, Pierre Gabriel gets it forward, and it's played forward, and here's Messi. He's got options out wide. Ferretti. In with the challenge. Goes down, but nothing given. He's made sure that that won't get through. Lobs it in gently. Mbappe. Mbappe showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. Oh, that is asking for trouble. Lucas pumps it into the area. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or, or just getting a runner through the middle now. Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. Keeper sends it forward. Pierre Gabriel. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Vinaldum gets it back. Up towards the front line. Donnarumma deals with it effortlessly. And play for a throw. Fev. Ball through needs to be good here. Be a throw in. Vinaldum gets his foot in there. Forward it goes. And there is the half time whistle. And there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Yes, they're behind, but it's a, a reversible situation. As long as better defensive focus can, can avoid a second goal on the counter, they know they have the wherewithal to come up with what they need. Real chance! Oh, that is rather wayward. Well, Peter, I would say it was worth a try. Lasne is fouled. Gets the better of his man. This is gone, that's a foul. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Berati drives it forward. And it's Neymar. Idris Gay. He's gone for it! He has done it! And with that goal comes comfort! And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. I just thought that was going to hit the outside of the post for a moment there, but it just curled enough to catch the inside for a very good strike. 
Paris Saint-Germain take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, at 1-0 this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Fev plays it forward. Lasne tries to get it forward quickly. And he heaves it forward. It's got through to him. Oh, well played. He needed to get that right. Idris again. This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight. Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Looks to thread it through. Pierre Gabriel drives it forward. Chance to break. Pierre Gabriel goes looking. Mounier has been found. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Mounier pushes to get on the end of it. Now it's Messi. Mbappe. Messi has created one goal already. Someone looks like he's in need of protection here. Yeah, and Messi! Oh, it looked like 3 0 for sure. Messi should really have closed the game out then, and this could come back to haunt him. Drives it towards the front. And it's Messi. He's through. Mbappe! They are rampant! And surely that settles it. Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things. Just put your foot through it and... That was a good example, great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. Rest are able now to make their substitution it's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now well he's worked so hard for his side uh, as you would expect but he couldn't help notice that he was starting to to labor a bit so it's no surprise three without reply this is becoming a stroll right, it's a clear foul and the referee's got a decision to make no the referee's judged that the offense took place outside the area He's had a crack, and that is quite wonderful, about as smooth as it gets. It could be a lifeline, two more needed. Oh, that is a bit special. So, is this the start of a comeback? Berati hits that long. Goes for goal! It's a goal! 
Really outwitted one-on-one. -on -one. Once more, he gets the better of the keeper. Well, how's that for composure, Peter? You can see the keeper tried to put as much pressure on him by staying upright, but it didn't phase him, not in the slightest. It's starting to look like a done deal now. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Forward it goes. Mbappe unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. Verratti, he's got it, and has a pop! And that has been clubbed away. Sergio Ramos plays it forward. Marquinhos hoists it forward. Messi hits it! They've scored! Comfort, yet more comfort, easing away. Messi was quick to move in, keeper's handling wasn't great. Oh look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was were absolutely top-notch. Paris Saint-Germain, and that's that. Well, a great day for attacking football. The artists have painted their pretty pictures. Only one team in it. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Yeah, and a result that was true to form.